towards the sun like we shot from guns living in a fantasy cause with you by my side I gotta ride or die we'll be rebels you and me sailing towards the sun like we shot from guns living in a fantasy <laughs> Hello Capricorn, this is Inspire 2016 with your monthly tarot reading for the month of November 2016. The first card for you is representing, your condition at present. Your card is, the Queen of Cups. You need to empathize with others and to show true compassion. Focus on the emotional well-being of others rather than relying on rational or logical explanation. You are here to support and to teach others, by drawing upon your own intuition and sense of calm and emotional connectedness. Learn how those in need cope with life's challenges and share your knowledge. Hug someone you care about. There might be a significant mature female figure in your life or as a part of yourself. She is nurturing, caring, compassionate and sensitive. She can sense the needs of those around her. She can be passive and receptive. Her sensitivity draws those who struggle and suffer towards her. In many ways, she is a safe harbor for others. Her ability to connect on a soul level enables her to remedy the broken hearts of others. Her warmth and genuine caring make her a beacon of light. Because she is so responsive to the feelings of others. She must constantly uphold her boundaries between herself and others. If not properly protected, she can lose her own sense of self. This is her greatest vulnerability. On the other hand, situation remains unchanged. You can live a smooth life without any worry or stress. However, you may get bored as it is not challenging and you have more free time. For work. You may get bored as you feel that you are not motivated. If your job requires creative ideas, you may feel dull and difficult to create any idea. But if you work in other fields, you will not be busy and there is still no progress at work. If you are a man, you will meet a plump quiet woman who have fair skin, and live in her own little world. If you are a woman, you may have to go out in order to find love. The second card for you is representing, the immediate challenge or problem that you'll be facing. Your card is, the Nine of Swords. You are afraid of the future, or what may possibly happen in the future. If you allow yourself to be bound by fear of the future, you are at risk of eventually creating a negative reality for yourself by virtue of your expectations. Your nightmare becomes your self-fulfilling prophecy, which is clearly not a desirable outcome. You are literally being kept up at night because you are so anxious about a particular issue. It is possible you are working yourself up unnecessarily and, if you were to look at the situation more objectively, you may come to realize that it is not as bad as you are making it out to be. In fact, all that worry and despair is what is making it worse, so rather than fretting about it, do something to change it. Although most people experience fear, frustration and uncertainty at some point in their lives, 
you should not allow those negative emotions to immobilize you or keep you from pursuing your goals with enthusiasm and hope. Expect at least some level of uncertainty in the future, and draw upon your inner strength to remain as flexible and adaptable to that uncertainty as possible. The Nine of Swords can also indicate that you are being incredibly hard on yourself, putting yourself down or engaging in negative self-talk. For every mistake you make, you blame yourself and become worked up and angry at yourself for messing up again. So, when the Nine of Swords appears in a reading, ask yourself why you are being so hard on yourself, how are you putting yourself down or what is the source of your depression? What can you do to make yourself feel better? You may need to make a more conscious effort to quit the negative self-talk and replace it with positive reinforcement for a job well done. You may face with unexpected problem which you have to manage the difficulty. Situation is still uncertain. Be careful of making wrong decision. Do not overthink or believe in what you hear without any careful consideration. You will feel stressed, frustrated and find no way out of problems. For work, you may not get proper coordination or may have to solve problems caused by others. During this time, you should stay calm and do not be hot-tempered. The third card for you is representing, your goal, aspiration or best outcome with regards to your situation. Your card is The Seven of Cups there will be expectations, plans to do many things. You may have some new ideas at work but may not take actions. You should concentrate on your idea and bring it to life in reality instead of just building it without any action on it. During this time, you may feel distracted or lack concentration at work. For finance, be careful of spending money easily as you may get into troubles later. Be careful of wishful thinking or illusions in the choices you currently face. The character in the Seven of Cups is a dreamer who is able to see beauty and excitement as well as fearful trials and difficulties in the future. If you are constantly caught up in your own dreams, fantasies, and or fears, we will never be able to move forward and make those dreams a reality or overcome those fears. Therefore, the Seven of Cups indicates that although dreaming is beautiful and provides inspiration for action, you must at some point abandon your castles in the sky and begin to build those castles in your real life. A choice must be made even though the apparent multiplicity of options seems to paralyze you with either fear or excessive anticipation. If you are unable to make a decision because of too many options, it is time to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of each option and make a thoughtful choice. You also need to be very clear about what it is you are working towards so that you can make the best choice. Make your decision with caution as all is not what it seems to be. Great opportunities may turn out to be major problems later on, while less enticing options may turn out to be golden opportunities. With the Seven of Cups, there is a risk of illusion. You need to separate what is real from what is illusion. Protect yourself against unclear or wishful thinking and habitual daydreaming. Avoid intoxication and escapism. Oftentimes, this card shows choices and plans that have little or no basis in reality. Such things are typical of the developed imagination, and fine if they stay in the imagination. However when you try to implement those ideas in the real world you are leaving yourself open to inevitable disappointment when you realize that your vision simply does not work. The fourth card for you is representing, issues from the past that have led to your current situation. Your card is. The Magician. If you had started to do something new in the past, now you should put your best effort as you are full of energy at this time. Your current situation is quite pleasant. You have nothing to worry and feel more being yourself. You will not want to stand anything you dislike. 
you may have a chance to socialize or have meetings to share knowledge and experiences with others. For finance, there is nothing to worry as you can properly manage your cash flow to support your expenses. Be careful of making agreement or signing contract regarding both work and finance. You should be very cautious in order to avoid problems thereafter. You may have a chance to meet a charming person coming into your life but do not expect too much and just keep a simple contact. You are inspired to apply skill and initiative to accomplish all your goals. You have a strong desire to begin something new, to do, act, or go forth. A can-do attitude and strong sense of optimism will dominate a new beginning and thus the decisions that you make will have positive results. You are creating success in everything that you do. This is a tarot card about manifesting your goals by utilizing the skills, tools and resources that are available to you. The magician suggests that you will come up with creative ways to solve problems and you will be able to use your existing knowledge and networks to arrive at solutions. This is a good omen when you have a specific wish, when you begin a project involving creativity, or when you need to make a transformation of any kind. This is a great tarot card for meditation when you need to call all the elements for help and wisdom. You can also benefit from your creative forces if you can claim your power and act with awareness and concentration. This card is a signal to act consciously and act now provided you understand exactly what you want and are committed to getting it. You need to know what you are doing and why you are doing it. Be clear about your underlying motives and intentions. Overall, you need to be focused on a single goal or purpose at this time and you need to channel all of your energy, tools and resources towards this one goal. Commitment to the task is essential and as such, you will need to eliminate any distractions that will take your focus away from what you want to achieve. The fifth card for you is representing, your subconscious realm. The underlying feelings and trends associated with your current situation. Your card is the Seven of Swords. You may be tempted to sneak away from a particular situation that is not working for you anymore, rather than dealing with it head on. As you do not feel ready to deal with the issues, you are aiming for a solution where you can just escape and not have to worry about it all. Are you trying to run away from commitment, responsibility, hard work or love? You may be procrastinating, letting problems slip and become worse because you do not want to deal with them. Sometimes you just have to face what has to be faced. So, the question is, is this realistic? Will this escape really accomplish what you want to and need to accomplish? Will it address the fundamental issues at hand here? The likely answer is no, and it may simply be an easy way out for now. You might think you have gotten away with something but have you? What impact has your actions had on other people? Could someone else suspect something? Is this going to come back to bite you again? Even if you have managed to go undetected, be aware that in the long run, Deception will not produce the rewards you desire and may instead cause significant damage to your relationships and reputation. Consider taking a more ethical and morally balanced approach to life from here on. On the flip side, the Seven of Swords asks you to be very cautious and wary so that you do not become a victim of someone else's deception, betrayal, cheating and false motives. You may trust someone who then turns out to be running their own agenda, leaving you high and dry. You need to be very careful of who you trust over these coming months as you are at risk of being taken advantage of. Look out for any sneaky behavior and trust your gut instincts about when something does not feel right or is too good to be true. You may have faced with unreliable situations, cheating, or a chance to be taken advantage of by others. You may have felt that you could not trust anyone and wanted to be alone or work independently, not as a team. 
be careful that you may have problems with people around you as they may think that you do not adapt yourself to society. For finance, if you lend money to someone, you may not get it back. If you run your own business, you may have problem with your employees as they are not trustworthy. Be careful of being stolen or cheated out of money. The sixth card for you is representing your immediate future. Your card is the fool. You cannot anticipate anything as situation will subject to change all the time. You may think of taking a chance or trying to do something you have never done before. For work, you may have an opportunity to work in a new way you have never done before. Please go ahead as you have nothing to lose. For finance, be careful that you will not be able to make any saving and control your expenses. You must be hard-hearted in this matter. For love, nothing is certain. If you are single, you may meet with a philanderer who just wants to take advantage of you. Thus, make sure that you know the one well before developing your relationship. Overall, there is a need to set forth on a new journey, one that is completely unknown and will take you to uncharted territories. The Fool is all about new experiences, personal growth, development and adventure. The Fool card asks you to take a leap of faith and to trust in the universe in that if you begin a new journey, you will find success. This Fool lives a carefree life, free from worry and anxiety. He does not seem to mind if he does not really know what lies ahead. The Fool card may represent a choice to be made, one of vital importance. However, there are always many different options available and the choice must be made wisely. If you are facing a decision or moment of doubt, the Fool encourages you to believe in yourself and follow your heart no matter how crazy or foolish your impulses may seem. This is a time when you need to truly believe and have faith in where the universe is taking you. The Fool is an excellent tarot card to meditate on if you are experiencing a lot of fear in your life. The Fool enhances courage, risk taking and the creative expression needed to open up new areas in your life. The Fool is always whole, healthy and without fear. He is the spirit of who we are the spirit expressed and experienced as wonder, awe, curiosity and anticipation. We never know what is in the future but like the fool we must blindly go forward. You need to trust that you are a spirit born into flesh to enjoy life and grow in experience. Take a chance and see what happens. The seventh card for you is representing the advice for you or what approach can be taken to address your current challenges. Your card is the Nine of Wands. You may find no way out of the problems. You may feel frustrated and tired of the situation. Though you would like to get out of this situation but you do not dare to take risk on any change and this causes you stress. Besides, the problems are so boring and difficult to solve. If there are problems at work, you will feel so discouraged that you would like to resign. For love, your suspicion and distrust in your love may cause a dispute. You should control your emotion and use reason during this time. Do not be too hot-tempered. However, you are so close to completing a particular project or task but at the last minute, you are faced with yet another challenge or setback. Know that you have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. You are so close to finally achieving success, do not give up now. The Nine of Wands is a sign of hope and encouragement that if you stand firm and strong against your challenges, you will achieve your goal. The challenges before you now are only the last bit of darkness before the break of a wonderful dawn. The Nine of Wands is like the one last test or challenge before you can reach ultimate success. You feel as if you have come to the end of your fighting powers but you have the skill and determination in reserve. 
you are in a position of strength and by drawing upon all of your courage and abilities, you will prevail. Once the last obstacle is overcome, you are home free. The Nine of Wands encourages you to be resilient. You will continue to be opposed by hidden enemies and your interests will be questioned. Even in the face of such adversity, when you are feeling battled and bruised, you need to be patient and vigilant. Be assured that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And remember, if you do not succeed at first, then try again. You may have experienced setbacks that now leave you feeling distrustful of others or even yourself. The turning point will come when you are able to leave the past behind you and to cultivate a more open mind about the future. While you have experienced losses in the past, it does not mean that you have to experience further losses in the future. Turn a new leaf and push on. The eighth card for you is representing the external influences that can be the people, energies or events which will affect the outcome of your situation and are beyond your control. Your card is the justice. You will be very tired. You will be annoyed by fussy people around you. However, you have to control your emotions as you may need support from them as well. For work, you may feel that your colleagues tried to find fault with you and tend to compare with you. You may feel embarrassed as some colleagues may try to compete with you at work. However, do not worry too much as some colleagues are still friendly to you. You may need to release all of your thoughts about what is right and wrong, and just accept what is. Stop judging yourself constantly about whether you are doing the right thing or whether it is working. You are where you are and you just need to accept your current situation. Just allow yourself to be in the moment and withhold any immediate judgment. The Justice card also suggests that you may be better off by bending the rules a little and being a bit more flexible with your current circumstances. Of course, you also need to act in a way that is fair and just, and not underhanded, otherwise karma will come back to you. If you are engaged in a legal matter, you may be concerned about an unfair outcome. You may dispute the final judgment, calling into question the whole legal process. There may be legal complications or something that gets in the way of justice being served. You may be biased or unfairly judging others, failing to seek out the truth or a balanced perspective. Your opinions are biased and have been swayed by others. Be mindful of how you judge or criticize others and ensure that you have a balanced view before you go swinging the sword of justice. The ninth card for you is representing your hopes, wishes, dreams and fears. Your card is the Six of Pentacles. You have accumulated great wealth and are now in a position where you can offer financial assistance to those in need. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. Giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. You may have obsessive thoughts about things coming into your life especially benefits relating to your work, finance and love. 
you may worry that someone may take advantage of you or you may get unfair judgment or you may have to follow conditions on payment and return, how much you need to pay and how much you will receive. However, you had better not expect to get 100% return as it is impossible. You should expect less and be happy to give. If you give without expectation, it is a real happiness. The last card for you is representing, the outcome. Your card is, the Knight of Swords. Situation will be certain and changeable all time. Thus, if you plan to do anything, you should go ahead. For work, there will be some challenges. You may find that no matter what you do, there will be help along the way. Therefore, you should not feel discouraged. If you run your own business, you will have to handle many challenges. Also be careful of your business's financial status. There will be unexpected expenses, thus, you had better be careful of your spending. For love, if you are a single woman, you may have someone coming into your life. If you have a lover, be careful not to overly use your emotion as it may cause some conflicts. On the other hand, it is also a time when you are embarking on a new project or idea and there really is no one who is stopping you. You have had this sudden burst of energy that is propelling you forward and inspiring you to take quick action to manifest your goals. You are ready to overcome any problem, challenge or obstacle that is in your path. How could anything stand in your way if you are this focused and this committed to your goal? However, you may be prone to rushing things or cutting corners in order to get a job done. Sometimes this works for you but other times it does not. For example, using low-cost providers will help you get the job done quickly and cheaply but quality may suffer in the long term and you may consume more time fixing their work. Also, ensure that you keep others on side particularly if they are part of your longer term success. You might be all fired up and ready to go but if your colleagues, partner, friends, or family are not, then you are likely to run into trouble later down the track. The Knight of Swords also represents your need to understand the world from an intellectual point of view. You have well developed communication skills and can easily form solid arguments and opinions on current affairs and important matters. You love to engage with others who have similar skills so that you can share your ideas and develop new points of view. You may be best suited to discussion groups with like-minded individuals where you can fire each other up and motivate one another. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the new beginnings. A clean slate is presented to you as you now encounter fresh opportunities and novel experiences. Embrace the new in your life, including new opportunities, people, and projects. The angels know that change can be frightening, and they surround you now with loving energy. Call upon them whenever you feel afraid of facing novel situations. They will boost your confidence and energy so that you can enjoy your new beginnings. Sometimes we cling to old routines because they are familiar. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to be open to new approaches to life. Perhaps they will teach you a new way of looking at situations. Or maybe they will call on you to learn a new skill. Whatever the new beginning is for you, allow yourself to be stretched by the fresh circumstances. We learn about ourselves through new experiences. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.